Hello folks, this is Shibuya, welcome back to another video. This video is about my previous video, it's the metal volcano. So a viewer pointed out that the design regarding cooling of the steam turbine would not work and causes it to overheat. This is the previous design where the, the only cooling for steam turbine is this piping. So I'm relying on the water that is being ejected from the steam turbine to cool the turbine itself. Because the water comes up from the turbine, it's around 99 Celsius. It depends on the heat of the steam as well. But as you can see, see here, it's overheating, turbine is too hot, turbine is too hot everything is too hot except for this one the reason this is not too hot <clears throat> is because i've changed a few things uh, i didn't change i just fixed a few things because it didn't work just now what causes it to overheat i'm not so sure maybe it's from the piping itself because the piping itself holds heat as well or maybe the steam transferred to the Insulated tile and then transfer to the turbine. Maybe that causes it because if you can see here The steam is this one. I've, I've just pumped a lot of heat, but this is I did not mess with this This one is 288 Celsius for the steam and the tile is around 103 and the turbine is 103 so maybe transfers a bit or piping does it but this is a slated piping. Well, we can check. Yeah, it does have a heat capacity and thermal conductivity, but it's very low. Maybe that causes it to overheat. I'm not sure. Well, but anyways, it's overheat. So I started this, this task on cycle 400, and now it's, as you can see, it's 1100. Um, it's a very long testing. No kidding. That's one of the issue. The turbine is too hot. The second issue is that if you look here, the railing, the conveyor rail, it says content empty. Like this one, if you can see, it says copper. It says copper, copper, copper. But this one is empty, empty. Yeah, a few of it is empty. I'm not sure if you can see it from shipping i don't think so it looks the same to me but yeah so what i found out is that sometimes when the volcano erupts because of the railing goes through the volcano it melted the content and it leaves an empty basket and this is what happens so if it's empty bus empty basket, the sensor will not change temperature. It will stick to whatever temperature it is, but it will not change. If even though if the steam is 100 Celsius, 20 Celsius, or or whatever, but it will keep on doing this. The only solution to this is you change it above and then below. It will move the move the railing but it will ever so often it will do this again and the second issue is i found that some of the railing sometimes over here this part particularly will melt i'm not sure because my railing i do it using let's see conveyor rail it's steel steel and then melting temperature is 2426 while this one is Two four no. Two four or oh, two 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 six. So it's like two hundred Celsius less. What about iron? Let's see. Two five. And real is again two four. Okay, that makes more sense. But this one is fine. It survives. On my testing, I've did a few of iron, a few of gold, and a few of um, copper, but I just leave this only this much left. I've deleted a few. This one survived, but ever so often the railing will melt. This part, pretty much. 
Um, so the solution that I find is that number one, fix the railing. What I did was here, as you can see here, is that the railing I no longer go through the volcano, but now I go over it. The molten metal erupts from this um, tile, so I just um, avoid it altogether, and this fixed two of our issue. Number one, it fixes the empty basket, and number two is the melting of the railing. And for the third one, it's the cooling of the steam turbine. You can use um, aqua tuner or the thermoregulator. I prefer this because you can cool other stuff at the same time. The loop only goes through the turbine to cool it down. Um, it's controlled by this liquid pipe thermal sensor. Set it to 80 Celsius, you can set it lower, but I don't see the point of setting it lower. And yeah, pretty much that's it. If you're using this for individual, individual volcano, but I prefer this method because if you use this, it's gonna be a bit power hungry. If let's say you're cooling each and every one of the volcano. So on my, in my previous video, I've shown you how to make a cooling loop. Uh, what I did was, I just pull a line and cool each of my volcano. I know it won't be this clean. Um, you will get like one volcano here, one here, or maybe one underneath here. But it works the same because I've pulled a loop around my base before and doesn't have any issue so in this loop it's pretty much i have a liquid shut off it's being controlled by thermal sensor i set it to 95 because i've set it to 99 previously but every time uh every time it reaches 100 this turbine will like stutter and i, I don't really like that so i just change it to 95 it's cleaner uh you can see it working here probably let's see is it dormant? Almost. So the way it works is that if let's say the sensor reaches 90, above 95, the liquid shutoff will turn on. And let me show you. Let me, oh, there you go. It works. It doesn't turn on for so long. It's only like what? One second probably? Okay. This, the, the liquid coming in is at negative 30. You can use super coolant if you want, but petroleum is, is what I got <laughs> most of the time. Okay. It's coming in at negative 30. By this line, it's already reaching 64 Celsius. Look, it's transfer heat quite fast. Now it's already 95, 94, 96. This liquid, I mean this small amount of liquid is enough to cool the turbine. And stopping it from overheating that's why I prefer this rather than this one the individual loop with this I can cool other stuff as well you can even cool your base like I've did here I have one over here running I said I put it on uh, what do you call that let's see yeah 30 Celsius if you were wondering why my I lost my colony because I left this game running for like two days <laughs> and they didn't switch it off because I was running this test and it takes a while because I need to wait for it to dormant and then activate and yeah a lot of stuff to need I need to wait so what happened was the oxygen level in here drops I mean like literally zero there's only a few pockets of oxygen. I did not have any. I did not have enough algae to run it, <laughs> and I did not use what do you call that uh, the spawn. So pretty much everyone died. You can see one over here, Hassan is here. Uh, you have Max here. Who else? Joshua. Well, uh, things happen. 
Um, this is a loop by itself. If you need to copy it, I'm not sure how to put it. Put a blueprint in my description. If you know how to, please let me know. Maybe I can share it with you guys. But I think this is simple enough. Liquid will go through the liquid shut off. If let's say it's turned off, it will go. It will pass through the liquid bridge and go through the line um, like this one. Yeah, there you go. Goes here. If it's blocked, it will be picked up by this bridge and continue its line to this one and back to the loop. That's why in this loop, I prefer to have a big buffer like this, negative like thirty. I just keep this super duper cool like yeah because I can't cool it more it's only petroleum mm, yeah this one has been running fine for like what uh, 600 cycles probably um, this one as well let's see if any of it yep it all works fine so you choose whichever you want it's either the individual loop if you have a bun a butt load of power, you can use that. Or like me, I prefer one cooling loop for my volcanoes and maybe one for other stuff like my unlimited water or my unlimited gas storage. Yeah, I think that's covered. Oh yeah, one more thing. Um, one of the viewer pointed out that the metal coming out from the the steam room it's super hot it's like 150 celsius like this one it's 148 so maybe what you can do is like this but this one doesn't work that well because let's see did i set temperature right yep it's 10 celsius but the water is still hot um what you can do is maybe you drop it on let's see like let me show you one a quick one if you don't mind uh, what I normally do in my base is that I have a something like this sample brush and then I use a dispenser yep so the dupe will come by and drop everything in one spot uh, whatever it is and then you can just run a cooling loop like a radiant pipe here and then insulate it if you want here here and connect it like this <coughs> oh it's too low Trillium. let's see I think it's 700 alright yeah there you go and this will cool the petroleum as well as the other metal uh, your algae or your just don't put drag what do you call this dragolith dragolith i don't know how to pronounce it but this thing is super hot try not to put it here because that's no point of cooling it what i did was normally i feed it to the shovels and that's it yeah if you have issue with this thing being super hot, do one of this or you can chuck it in a room full of like this maybe let's see oh my god what's wrong with my mouse sample this brush Oof. and make your own loop probably there's a cooling loop uh, this and then you can probably if let's say you have the power to do it use an auto sweeper uh, loader and then pull the line and make it go through this a few times that will surely cool it off if you worry it's being too hot but you don't need to be you don't need to cool it down until like zero celsius I think like 50 or 60 would be fine. Uh, yeah. I think that's all from me today. Uh, let's see. Yep, that's all. I've
cover up my issue. Uh, yeah, make sure to fix this. I mean, the area. Okay, if you have any question, please leave it down below. Uh, I'm sorry for the long video. I do normally like to talk because my mic is quite bad and my English is not that good. <laughs> I'm sorry for the terrible English and my grammar will be terrible maybe. Uh, if you like the video, please leave a like. A sub would be awesome. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.